Hello everyone, welcome back to Need Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet a beautiful lightweight cardigan. This cardigan is super easy to make and I have free written pattern included women sizes, extra small go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I'm using Hoskon Titicaca. This is 100% opaca yarn. This one in color crowned. In each ball is have 400 meter or 437 yards this is lace weight number zero yarn okay but i hold two strand of this yarn together when you hold two strand of lace weight together is equal number one super fine yarn or fingering weight yarn all right if you want to substitute yarn you can look for lace weight yarn and hold two strand together or you can look for number one fingering red yarn and i use about six balls of this yarn i just have a little bit left on the six ball i use about 2600 yards and then four millimeter crochet hook scissors yarn needle and a couple of stitch markers let's talk about crochet cardigan a little bit this pattern is super easy to make you just need to make two panels make exactly the same and then after that, you sew them up and you are done, okay? So, we are going to start with a long chain here. The chain when you start divided by two is going to be the length of the cardigan because we make the front panel and the back panel at the same time. And after we're done with this part, the body part, we're gonna crochet the sleeve right here. All right, and then you're done with one panel. And you need to make one more panel exactly the same. And after you're done with two panels, we are going to sew up the back seam here. And then we fold it up like this. Now it's look like cardigan, yeah? So we need to sew the side seam and then the sleeve. And please check in description below for more details. And let's get started. So I'm going to bring the strand from outside and then strand from inside here. Okay, and then I hold it together so that double strand. I'm going to use those two strands hold together. Okay, first make slip knot. Insert the hook into that slip knot. And I'm going to make 200 chain. The chain when you start divided by two that will be the length of your cardigan make sure to make your chain loosely so here's one two three four five okay now i have 200 chains row one is going to be the right side i'm gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook so we skip the first chain insert the hook into that second chain but I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. So I insert the hook there. Then yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is my first single crochet on row one. And then we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain across. Next chain here. Again, I insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then repeat into the next chain. Sorry, if the yarn is a little difficult to see because it's so thin, All right, I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each chain across. I'm at the end of row one. 
and I have 199 single crochet stitches across row 2 we gonna chain 3 1 2 3 and then turn and then we are going to skip the next stitch and make one single crochet into the next stitch right here so this will count as one mass stitch if you like you can place a stitch marker into this first mass stitch it's gonna be easy for you to see at the end of next row so and then next we're gonna chain three one two three skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into the next stitch and now we have two mass stitches and then we're gonna repeat this across we chain three skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat chain three skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into the next stitch okay here's what it looks like so far all right keep repeating this across and skip the next stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch here here's what it looks like at the end of row two and i have a total of 99 mass stitches row three we chain three and then turn and then make one single crochet into the first chain three space here right here and this is called as first mass stitch and i'm going to use a stitch marker to place into the first mass stitch so that easier for you to see in the camera okay and then I chain three and then make one single crochet into the next chain three space and this is a second mass stitch on row three and we're gonna repeat this across we chain three and then make one single crochet into the next chain three space repeat chain three one single crochet into the next chain three space repeat chain three one single crochet into the next chain three space all right keep repeating this across and here is going to be the last chain three space right at the stitch marker where we place the stitch marker at the end of row three i have the same 99 mass stitches and for row four to row 10 i'm going to repeat row three and every row you're gonna have the same amount of the stitches and i'm going to show you a little bit on row four so we repeat row three we chain three and turn and then make one single crochet into the first chain three space right here and then i'm gonna place the stitch marker into the first mass stitch it's a little difficult to see the last stitch so i think it's important that you place the stitch marker and then we chain three and then make one single crochet into the next chain three space chain three one single crochet into the next chain three space chain three one single crochet into the next chain three space so yeah i'm gonna keep repeating row three until i reach the end of row 10 then i will be back 
I'm at the end of row 10 and I have the same 99 match stitches for row 11 chain 3 the first three chains count as one double crochet and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and into that first chain three space we're gonna make one double crochet yarn over hook insert the hook into that first chain three space yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops okay and then chain one and make two double crochet into the next chain three space all right we can now repeat this across we chain one and make two double crochet into the next chain three space repeat chain one two double crochet into the next chain three space repeat chain one two double crochet into the next chain three space keep repeating this across And this is gonna be the last space that we're gonna make two double crochet into right at the stitch marker. Oops. <laughs> okay. And here's what it looks like at the end of row 11. And I'm gonna remove the stitch marker. For row 12, we chain four. One, two, three, four. And turn. The first three chains count as one double crochet, and then the fourth chain there count as one chain space. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into one chain space here. Then chain two and then make one double crochet into the next chain one space and then we're gonna repeat this across we chain two one double crochet into the next chain one space repeat chain two one double crochet into the next chain one space repeat chain two one double crochet into the next one chain space alright keep repeating this across okay this is the last chain space and now to end the row you're gonna chain one and then make one double crochet into the third chain right here Here's what it looks like at the end of row 12. For row 13, we chain 3. Count as one double crochet and turn. And then make one double crochet into one chain space. And then chain 1. Two double crochet into the next chain 2 space. chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space then we're gonna keep repeating this across so we chain one and then two double crochet into the next chain two space repeat chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space Keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end the row.
okay we have one chain space at the end here so after i make uh, chain one i'm gonna make one double crochet into chain one space And then I gonna end the row with one double crochet into the third chain. Like that. Here's what it looks like at the end of row 13. From now on, we just gonna repeat row 12 and row 13 over and over. So I'm going to repeat row 12 and row 13 12 more times. And I will have a total of 37 rows. Start count from row 1. Okay. I'm going to show you one more repeat, which is row 14 and row 15. For row 14, we're going to repeat row 12. So we chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and turn the first three chains count as one double crochet and the fourth chain there count as one chain space and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the first one chain space here and then chain two one double crochet into the next chain one space chain two one double crochet into the next one chain space just repeat row 12 and repeat with chain 2 one double crochet into the next one chain space keep repeating this a class and i will show you how to end the row okay this is gonna be the last chain one space and then we're going to end the row with chain 1. One double crochet into the third chain. Here's what it looks like at the end of row 14. For row 15, we're going to repeat row 13. We chain 3, count as one double crochet. And we turn. And then we're going to make one double crochet into the chain one space. And then chain one. Two double crochet into the next chain two space. Oops. Then chain one. Two double crochet into the next chain two space. We're going to repeat this across, just repeat row 13. So we chain 1, 2 double crochet into the next chain 2 space. Keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end the row. This is the last chain 2 space. And then we chain 1. Then we're going to make 1 double crochet into the chain 1 space. Right here. And then we're going to end the row with one double crochet into the third chain. And here's what it looks like at the end of row 15. Alright, I'm going to keep repeating row 12 and row 13 until I reach the end of row 37. And I will be back. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of row 37 and here's what it looks like and then after that I cut my yarn you don't need to leave a long tail just leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end leather and here's what it looks like it's pretty big all right so after you cut the yarn at row 37 you're gonna turn your work up so this is the wrong side, okay, wrong side up. And then we're gonna continue crochet the sleeve. And to do that, I'm gonna skip 31 chain spaces. So this is my first chain one space. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one. Okay, skip thirty-one chain spaces, and then into the next chain space, I gonna insert my hook there, and then I gonna add new yarn. Okay, so I have my new yarn here. I hold it on the back, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and chain four. One, two, three, four. The first three chains count as one double crochet, and the fourth chain there count as one chain space. And you can add a new yarn any method you prefer. Okay, next I'm gonna make one double crochet into the next one chain space. Okay, now we're gonna start uh, repeat. So we chain two. One double crochet into the next one chain space. Okay, so this is gonna be the repeat. Chain two, one double crochet into the next one chain space. Okay, so we're gonna repeat this 32 more times. Or 32 more chain spaces. So, we chain two, one double crochet into the next one chain space, chain two, one double crochet into the next one chain space, chain two, one double crochet into the next one chain space. Alright, so keep repeating this until you have 34 chain spaces. Don't forget to count the first chain space so here's the first chain space here the second the third the fourth the fifth all right <laughs> i'll be back soon okay now i have 34 chain spaces this is the first chain space remember when we start with chain four so the fourth chain there count as one chain space so we count that space as well so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. All right, next we are going to chain one and then make one double crochet into the next chain one space this is the end of row one on the sleeve and I have a total of 35 chain spaces and make sure you have 31 chain one spaces left on the other side here Remember, we skip 31 chain 1 spaces before we add the new yarn. Alright, row 2 on the sleeve, we chain 3. Count as 1 double crochet and then turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. And then make 1 double crochet into the chain 1 space. And then chain 1. Two double crochet into the next chain two space. We're gonna repeat this across. We chain one. Two double crochet into the next chain two space. Chain one. Two double crochet into the next chain two space. It's the same pattern as the body panel. So we chain one and then two double crochet into the next chain two space. Keep repeating this across and I will show you how to end the row. Okay, now after I chain one here, I have one chain space left. I'm gonna make one double crochet into that last one chain space. Then I'm gonna end the row with one double crochet into the third chain. Here's what it looks like at the end of row 2. Row 3, chain 4. 
and then turn the first three chains count as one double crochet and the fourth chain count as one chain space and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the first one chain space here and then chain two one double crochet into the next one chain space chain two one double crochet into the next one chain space all right keep repeating this across and i will show you how to end the row okay we're gonna end the row with chain one then one double crochet into the third chain right here see it's the same pattern as the body panel from now on we can now repeat row two and row three over and over so for me i can now repeat row two and row three eight more times and i will have a total of 19 rows start count from row one of the sleeve here if you want shorter sleeve make less repeat and if you want a longer sleeve just keep repeating row two and row three more times all right and yeah i'm gonna show you a little bit on row four <laughs> row four we're gonna repeat row two so we chain three count as one double crochet and then turn then we're gonna make one double crochet into the one chain space then we chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space very easy and you can also rewind the video as well if you forget how to end the row or how to start a new row all right i gonna keep repeat row two and row three until i reach the end of row 19 and then i will be back good luck and take your time i'm at the end of row 19 and here's what it looks like and now for the final row which is row 20 i'm going to repeat row two so we chain three and turn then make one double crochet into the chain one space chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space make exactly the same as row two okay keep repeating this across okay after we chain one here we're gonna make one double crochet into the last chain one space and then we're gonna end the row with one double crochet into the third chain The sleeve is complete. Next, we're gonna cut the yarn and leave a long tail. So I'm gonna leave about 60 to 70 inches long tail. Then I cut my yarn. Then I'm gonna pull my yarn out. So we're gonna use this long tail to sew the sleeve side seam and then the body side seam. It's gonna be like this right here all right so next you're gonna make one more of this panel exactly the same and if you make a longer sleeve make sure the other panel you're gonna have the same amount of row on the sleeve all right i will see you soon next we're gonna sew the two panels together so this project is kind of big it's difficult for me to show you the whole thing i'm gonna show you in this 
picture here and also I gonna show you in this paper here so remember we make the left side and the right side exactly the same and it doesn't matter which panel you choose to be the left side or the right side so we're gonna place them like this with the wrong side facing up right side facing down we're gonna sew up the back side seam on the wrong side and to do that you're gonna cut a new strand of yarn about 40 to 50 inches long with double strands okay then i'm going to skip 30 stitches at the bottom here then i'm going to sew up 55 stitches okay i have a new strand of yarn and your needle ready to go and i'm gonna skip 30 stitches on both sides I should place the stitch marker but I didn't think about it so I'm just gonna count 30 stitches so here's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 29 30 and here's the 31 okay skip 30 stitches and I'm gonna count the other side the same 30 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay. 7 8 29 30 and then into the next stitch there I insert my needle into okay and then I bring it up then insert into the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn okay and then insert into the next stitch here and next stitch there both loops bring it up oops then next stitch here next stitch there bring it up next stitch here next stitch there make sure don't sew too tight or too loose next stitch here and next stitch there okay here's what i'm gonna sew i'm gonna keep sewing all the way up until i reach the stitch marker which is 55 stitches and then after that after i reach the stitch marker i'm gonna weave the end and i will be back okay after i sew up 55 stitches i went ahead and weave the end and remove the stitch marker and here's what it looks like and this is gonna be the back center bottom next we're gonna fold the cardigan in half let me show you in this paper here so we sew the back side seam right and then after that we fold it in half with the right side facing each other the wrong side out and then we're gonna sew the sleeve side seam until we reach the armpit corner and then sew the side seam of the cardigan down to the end and we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier to sew and again we sew on the wrong side and both sides sew exactly the same okay so i'm gonna fold it in half okay we're gonna start sewing on this side i insert the tail into my yarn needle ready to go okay start sewing on this side I'm gonna insert my needle into the third chain on this side then insert into the first stitch on that side the corner stitch bring it up and then the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn then move to the next stitch here 
then next it there on the sleeve seam it's a little difficult to see the normal stitches because we sew into the end of each row so you kind of guess where you're gonna insert your needle into but whatever you do just make sure that both sides are nice and lining up like this and even okay just take your time all right i insert right here and then right there bring it up then right here right there bring it up then right here right there right here and right there Yes, what it's look like so far on the wrong side and here is the right side okay so i'm gonna keep sewing all the way until i reach the armpit corner here then i'm gonna continue sew the cardigan side seam all the way down to the end then i'm gonna weave on my ends on this side and after that i'm gonna come to this side and sew exactly the same all right, and then weave on my ends. Okay, just take your time and I will be back soon. After you sew up your cardigan and weave all the ends, turn your cardigan right side out and you are done. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you make this cardigan, I would love to see it. Please tag me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrowaddict. I gonna put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.